This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. I'm Lockout Men, and I present to you another MTC on the Recruiter Call channel. We're back with a new episode of Company Calls. In this episode, we're continuing to find out their drug screening process and if they accept SAP drivers. If this is something that's interest to you, make sure you stay tuned. How the guarantee pay works? So our minimum pay guarantee, uh, like I said, is $1,400. So the way it works is as long as you come out of the house on time. So if you tell somebody that you're going to be out Monday morning at 9 a.m., you're ready to roll at 9 a.m. Uh, instead of saying, hey, you know what, instead of Monday, I'm going to come out on Wednesday now. Uh, so that would be you know, something you can't do. Uh, so if you come out of the house on time, uh, you do your job, you don't reject freight, except for New York City, because we don't force New York City. Um, you don't have any service failures for taking like excessive breaks or anything like that. And you scan your, pa oh, and don't get in any accidents. And uh, scan in your paperwork, uh, Martin guarantees you'll make a uh, minimum $1,400 a week. Now, uh, the reason why we can do this is because Martin will pay you for things other companies don't pay you for. Uh, we pay for drivers who, what we call in climate weather pay. If you're uh, a driver and you're driving down the road and the roads start getting bad, there's snow, ice covered, unfortunately, when it's not over yet, uh, we pay our drivers to shut down. Uh, we pay you $25 an hour for whatever you have left over on your clock. So if you got four hours left on your clock, we pay you uh, $25 for those four hours. Same thing with um, trailer maintenance downtime. If you uh, come out of there and uh, go pick up a trailer for us. It's got bad brakes, bad tires, whatever the case may be. Um, from the time that you call road service until somebody gets out there and fixes it, it's $20 an hour. So when we add those things up, plus whatever mileage you get for the week, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to make $1,400 minimum. How much experience do you guys require? Uh, we require, I would like to see six or seven months experience with uh, a regional driver uh, without a trainer. So if you say, you know, you've only got like four months experience and you spend a month with a trainer or even two or three weeks, they'll count that as a month. Um, we uh, need to see six months from the day you left your trainer. The onboarding process for the drug screening. Do you guys do urine or hair follicles uh -huh. or both? Urine. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do not. So our main thing is that um, Cardinal account, which that's a team running account. You actually have to have a team for that one. Okay. So if I wanted to run that account, I would have to bring my own team partner with me. Yeah. And then we would also have to see if we had any openings at that moment, which it could be a case, you know, if you didn't go that route and say you came in and you were just a driver here and, you know, we ended up getting an opening and they had one person that wanted it. And, you know, you could possibly be that second person and y'all end up taking it together. But I think right now all those cardinal runs are filled at the moment. How much experience do you guys require? Yeah, you have to have at least six months in the past three years with a tractor trailer. To come in and solo, you have to have that six months plus three months of refrigerated experience in the last three years. Onboarding for the drug screening process. What do you guys do? Urine mm -hmm. or hair follicles or both? We do urine. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? It has to be five years after completing the program. What would be the mileage pay coming in? Yeah, so um, if you're coming in as a solo, it's 50 cents per mile before any bonus incentives. If you're looking at teaming, it's 70 cents per mile to the truck before any bonuses. Davis Express. How much experience do you guys require? We require six months to go through training, and that would be over the road, 12 months to not go through training. What would be the mileage pay coming in for that? It would be 55 cents per mile. Onboarding, drug screening, mm -hmm. it, what do you guys do? The hair follicles, urine, or both? We do urine. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? The SAP program has to be five years old.
Bay and Bay Transportation. How much experience do you guys require? Uh, they require at least 12 months of driving tractor trailer. What will be the cent per mile coming in? Uh, it would be 60 to 64 cents per mile. Doing onboarding process for the drug screening, do you guys do urine or hair follicles or both? Ours is urine. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Uh, we do not at this time. Do you guys as SAP drivers? We do not. The experience you require two full years of of over the road experience to come in with you guys, right? Yes. How much experience do you guys require? Well, it depends. We take recent graduates out of approved schools on up. Unfortunately, we would not be able to hire out that way. We don't have any freight um, that would be able to get you home on a consistent basis out of Ohio. So we don't offer that as a hiring area for us at this time. Doing onboarding for drug screening, do you guys do hair follicles or urine or both? Your analysis. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do not. All right, there you have it, drivers. If any of these companies will work out for you, reach out to them and see what they can do for you. If these calls helped you out, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for the next MTC on the Recruiter Call channel. Who's next? Next, next, next.